Hello guys, this is Pawan from Ambedotronics. So today we will look on uh, SPI FFS, uh, how it basically works, how we can save any text file uh, within uh, SPIPS. So SPIPS uh, stands for uh, uh, SPI Flash File System. So it is uh, uh, just like other FAT file systems or generic FAT file system means commands would be somewhat similar, but this is a a separate fat separate file system comparative to comparatively uh, fat fs or any other uh, uh, let's say a little fs uh, system so uh, okay so uh, we will run one example code here and we will see how it works and uh, uh, basically uh, we will uh, explain you i will explain you basically about uh, how things are working on that uh, example project okay so let's get started so we will go to file we will create one SPSF IDF project and we will we'll select a template given by ESP IDF only so in storage we will go to SPIPS and that SPIP stands for uh, as I told you ser serial peripheral interface flash file system SPI flash file systems so we'll go to click on finish so here we have created a SPIPS project directory now if I'll just double click on it and here is the example code and uh, let's just build this So everything is okay, COM4 and uh, now uh, this is, uh, let me just build this project. So basically how things are working here in this case, if I'll say, uh, I'll start with app main. In app main you can say we are, in, uh, we are initializing steps with the name tag we have given and uh, this directory uh, we need to give this is important and then we have to uh, may, we have to mount the logical we have to mount to make it uh, uh, make it a workspace uh, inside uh, um, flash of memory so it will through this esp vfs uh, spips registers it will just uh, initialize and mount uh, uh, the logical drive and if uh, we will get the result okay then it will go to the next command otherwise if these are the error handling uh, they have done uh, if it is esp fail then uh, it means we have failed to mount our format file system so our fat our uh, uh, spips does not does not format properly or fail to find spips partitions partition did not get it did not get partition or failed to initialize space so now let me check how much it is built yeah it's com going to complete just now so all the errors will be removed after that so uh, so here after that we are just uh, uh, doing uh, one one more command uh, the here we are steps partition we are just uh, partition size we are getting and uh, some partition size uh, we have to allocate to just to create the text to create the text file or any other file in this pips memory so here then in the next case f open we have used f open means uh, creating or opening a file so both things are valid for f open case if you have work, uh, worked on a uh, file handling in c then you you, I think you you are aware of this f open function. So f open will create this hello that text file in and w means in write mode. In write mode, we will open this uh, uh, hello dot text file, and then if uh, we got a null, uh, it, if it returns null, then we we fail to open file for writing. Uh, else, uh, otherwise, it will go to the next instruction. And f printf we are doing. Uh, we can also do f write f write and f print are uh, near about same functions just in case an f write we used to uh, write in byte we used to write byte data structure and f print f we can uh, write uh, strings as well 
So, uh, at printf we are using and hello world we are printing on our file this is hello.txt and here um, after that immediately we are closing the file. So, remember guys closing the file is necessary to uh, to uh, just uh, uh, to just uh, reopen that uh, re to reread that file basically we cannot re read that file or we cannot it it, uh, in, it in short we can say it will just get corrupted if we will not f close properly so f close is necessary so after f printf we are f uh, by giving command f close we are closing the file and then file return message we are printing and then um, we are checking for another file f foo.txt because we have to rename uh, it to foo.txt so foo.txt existed or not that if it is exist then delete it if it exists and dele deleting we are doing by giving the command unlink unlink is the command to delete and delete any file and then rename original file so here hello hello.txt we are renaming it, renaming it to foo.txt and uh, here again we rename failed message we will get and uh, we are opening uh, the renamed file for reading so again that com command f open and now it's in read mode you can see guys uh, initially it was in write mode now it is in read mode because we, we are not writing but we are reading here so if again we get null then again we can say that fail to open file or for reading uh, otherwise it will just go to the next line and f gets and uh, um, how many lines uh, data uh, was written successfully or not and again we uh, we will f close that file means that foo.txt we will f close and here uh, read from file how many lines we have read from files it will just print that and uh, uh, after that we will unmount our uh, partition uh, we will disable this scripts so this way these things are working I hope you understand this so now I will just uh, connect my ESP32 and uh, upload the code to my board so ok so by giving this clicking on this icon we can just uh, upload the board So guys it's uploading. Now we can open the serial monitor to check how we are getting the data. So here you can see detected size 4096k larger than the size this is the message and then starting scheduler starting scheduler on app CPU initializing spips uh, this is correct partition size total 89 uh, 8,96,321 bytes uh, uh, is partition size over and use is, is only 500, 502 opening file file written renaming file reading file read from file hello world spips unmounted so this partition size we can also check how much partition we are uh, getting so this is the partition example dot CSV. So, if you will just open with text editor, you can see uh, uh, this much amount of uh, spips memory is allocated. So, if I will just check how much this is the memory. So, this is the memory uh, 983040. So, this is the memory and the total uh, we have used memory, used memory is uh, some uh, somewhat this much uh, 8,96,3,2,1 so this way we can say uh, we can uh, just uh, 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 save our any text file or any uh, uh, like csv file or any uh, kind of form extension uh, you can say we can save uh, using spips i hope you like this tutorial uh, if you have any doubt regarding this just feel free to comment us below and if you, you are really getting uh, things from my videos please give it a thumbs up it will just help me, uh, me to motivate uh, to make more videos like that thank you guys thank you very much